No, red is wine, black is poison, white is antidote. Oh. Uh, over the course of the game, you'll be filling up these goblets. At the end of the game, or at the end of, of the round, you will uh, drink from your own goblet. If you have more poison than antidote, you die. <laughs> Whoever drinks the most wine also gets a bonus point. <laughs> it's the very simple way of describing the game. So wait, like black is black is poison. Black is poison. And white, white is antidote. White is antidote. Goblet. Red is wine. To you. Right. So, so how many rounds is it? The uh, so there are three courses. <laughs> Although you can get so resurrected. I'm going to try and poison you guys and not be totally poisoned. Sense. Yes. Yeah. Essentially. You so get a card of, of who your target is. You uh, need are we to filming? Oh, well, it's on. It's on. <laughs> well, you kept explaining it's the rules and I don't want to miss <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So, yeah. So, I, I, to, I suppose, so, yeah. So, the game is split into uh, three courses. Each course is as such. Um... You will be dealt a target card, mm -hmm. uh, you'll be trying to kill one of the other players. Um, you'll be dealt at the beginning of the game a character card who does something special for you. For example, there was one in here that was nice and easy to describe. If she, for each three wine tokens she consumes, she, they count as one antidote. Oh. So she likes to drink a lot of wine. I mean, there's all sorts of things in here. Um, uh, you take it in rounds, starting from the, the left of the host. The host is the person who most recently called Toast. Uh, just to make things simple, maybe it would just be Mike. Mike. Well, I am the literal host. He is literally host. the host, so Mike's oh, target. Yeah. Um, mm. So the play will start with the person to the left of the host. Mm -hmm. uh, they will get two actions. Everybody gets two actions in turn. Uh, the actions are you can either pour, so you can pour any of these ones behind your screen into any goblet. Right. Um, you can look into the goblet in front of you. Uh, so the start will be the one with your colour on. Right. You can switch goblets with another player, so your goblet can be switched, so I, I'd switch with you, for example. <laughs> uh, you can rotate all the goblets around one, which obviously you've got to be careful because you if you them. knock them over, you will pour it out and <laughs> everybody will see what's in there. And ruin the game! You don't can do no action game. if you really want, you can just pass, I don't quite know why you'd want to do that. Uh, I can't remember if I mentioned, but you can peek into your own glass. No, the one that, the, just the one that's in front of just you, Just right? the one in front of you. So in this mm -hmm. case it'd be green, I would peek at. Uh, green would be mine. Yeah, yeah. It's right. gonna get, yeah, you'd be blue at the moment. So right. Try and... You have to reach around the camera. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Glug, <laughs> glug. Um, and the final thing you can do, which you have to do as your first action, is call the toast. So you call the toast, starting with the player to the left of you, they will take one last action, and you go around until you get back to the toast. Uh, toast master, sorry, is the person who called the toast. Right. They, do, they do the final action, uh, and then once all that's been done, you will, I guess, drink from your cup, uh, you look in it, pour it out, and at that point, if you have more poison than antidote, you're dead. Uh, if, you, if you don't, and you survive, um, you get a point. If your target, who we deal out at the beginning of each course, uh, died, you get an extra point. If your target died, and you survived, you get a bonus point, and... Whoever drank the most wine in the round, I had the most red tokens, yeah. gets an extra point as well. And Bonus points for drinking, I yep. approve. Uh, yeah. And yeah. there are, so like I said, split over three courses, um, relatively quick, relatively simple. You'll get a new target each course. Um, there was an interesting rule variant here, which I think is quite fun to play, that if you die, you draw a new character card. <laughs> if you survive, you keep the same character card. I it's approve. Fun play. Let's do that. So yeah. This basically sounds yeah. like dinner at the Medici's. Is that another game, or is that just a... I didn't no, that's, an, that's an actual noble family that did a lot of this. Okay, right. Yeah. <laughs> Medici, do you know I know what you mean? Oh. Right, so Let's see who we are to start with. with. They're the same people that um, had a... Making a mess of your beautiful tablecloth. Yeah, God. Did you buy it especially for this purpose? Uh, uh yes. Mm. Well, one of the... One of the Actually, originally it was going to function as like a... Yeah, um, and when he died screen. under... Kind of semi mysterious. But then I never bothered mm -hmm. being that. Tried that was kind of our idea. When her son came of age, so he literally went to war with her. So wow. I'm like mm. Jafar. <laughs> You're Jafar? So yeah, I'm totally Jafar from Aladdin. <laughs> Great. Aspis. So starting with the host, yeah. if you could just describe your special ability. So I'm Grand Vizier Aspis, and it says before drinking, you may make two predictions about who poison, who, who will be poisoned. If you do, instead of the normal scoring, you score one victory point if you survive, and one victory point for each cor correct prediction. And my flavor text reads, I can see your future, or lack thereof. <laughs> mm. well, mine's quite a good one, I think. Cardinal Arsenic. 
Before drinking, you may remove one poison token from your goblet. If you do and you're still poisoned, you score zero victory points this course. Um, I'm not afraid of your silly poisons. <clears throat> I have a very strong stomach. Very, very accurate. Mm. So I'm Duke Olander. At the beginning of each course, take one poison and one antidote token from the common mm. pool and immediately put them into two different goblets. Voluminous sleeves are trendy and useful. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm Master Mercury. As an action, I can draw two random tokens from any goblet, secretly look at them, and then discard one into the common pool and pour the other one back into the goblet. Mm. I smell cyanide. Maybe a scent of asinite. <laughs> <laughs> I am Baroness Nightshade. At the beginning of each course, I can peek into all of the goblets, and additionally, I can exchange position of two or more goblets. There's nothing like a good plan. So one thing I forgot to say as well, uh, at the beginning of the game we take two poison, one antidote and enough wine to make up the rest of the players and pour, randomly pour one into each goblet. So at the start you may already have a poison, poison goblet. There's already some in there. Uh, is it, there's not. Why have I got the wrong colour in front of me? This uh, is very important. In case we move them all around. Or <laughs> We're explaining this. Tom, would you just show uh, your <laughs> character there to the yes. camera on the table here? Master Mercury! <laughs> so, uh, I suppose, so it can be quite tricky to pour these in sometimes out. Um, so these looking, so. Uh, these are our targets. Oh yes, yeah, so actually yes. Yeah, so starting with Kim, let's see. It's who, not a secret, just, is it? Uh, no, you reveal them all. So Kim is out Mind to kill Oliver. Yeah. No, I am out to kill Tom. Oh no, it's Tom. black. I thought it was purple. So if we put that in front of your thing. I think we're gonna kill each other, try and kill each other. Oh no, you're out to no, kill I Kim. Because well, I've got the conundrum of trying to kill myself. Ah, okay. So you switch with the player to the left. Oh, okay. So Great. now, so now I'm trying to kill Mike all tried to kill I, all I, of us. I just thought it was so going to be a really... Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was going to be a breeze. I got this. Just kill myself. No a problem. So I suppose it helps, yeah, when I do this initial bit. Mike. Maybe just, uh, I just look up a little bit. Don't try and look, look at what I'm putting into the glass. Yeah. Well, I can. Well, I suppose you will see them. Yeah, I can look into all of them. Because I'm the sneaky oh. baron. Oh, is that your power? Yep. At the beginning of each course, I can peek into all of the goblets. Did you put two in each? Uh, one in each. What is the one that uh, looks like a little speck? And thing. then, uh, so anybody with a, at the beginning of a course round, go, yeah. starting from the host, going round, gets to do their ability, so I'm before you, so I'll... Uh, oh, toast? I put a poison no, antidote. Yeah, it's good, because you get to see mm. where these poison yeah. antidotes go. Actually, yeah, that is pretty good. Pass. Andy, what does the third one along on the second row down mean? Pass, yeah. Pass? Oh, okay. Not fine. do anything. Not you do don't anything. have to do something if you don't want to. Mm. There you go, Kim, you can have a little extra... Uh, okay. I hope it's <laughs> really nice to me. Okay. So, so is that your first? No, that was my at the beginning of each course uh, special ability. He's, oh. got, he's got long sleeves yeah. with a lot of things in them. So Oliver now has a beginning of each course action, so he takes it as well. Okay. Oh, okay, so he can look at what's in the goblets. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> cheat, is... cheat, cheat. <laughs> I believe, not cheat. Good character. <laughs> It's amazing how each course just and I can basically move consists of, of us drinking. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to the next course. <laughs> more drinking. Exchange, okay, I can, the, I can exchange two or more position, the positions of two or more goblets. I can do that now. Yep. Uh, suppose, Remember, yeah. you're not trying to kill me. I'm trying to kill you. The, the only... This is the best. <laughs> this is the best arrangement. The, the only key thing to remember is you can't kill toast until you've poured all your wine. And you have to do it as your first action. So everybody has at least two goes before they can call a toast. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you can't call a toast until you've poured all your yeah. wine. So you have to have got rid of I'm all three red to tokens. Mike, I swear. <laughs> right. It's self-preservation, come on. You are absolutely... <laughs> I know you are trying to kill me. No. Well, yes, but... <laughs> no. <laughs> that was the worst defense ever. <laughs> I forgot that I was trying to kill you. So like... Kim, as the left to the host... Uh... Oh, right. Have you oh. already had your go? No, oh. the person left to the host starts. Oh, right, oh, cool. Awesome. Cool. Um, no, I forgot that okay. uh, our targets were public information. I forgot it wasn't <laughs> yeah. like, Av not Avalon, uh, Spyfall or something, where it's like... Yeah. All I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to kill you. This game might be quite interesting of secret targets. Right, so my first You'd have to announce if you I'm weren't killing yourself. And, that'd be... okay. and then you'd have to do like a reshuffle okay. or something. Do you like what you see in there? And <laughs> it's it's why of course. <laughs> we're all here to drink and have fun. <laughs> My next one is going to be to... I can't swap one, can I? Because you can only do that one action, so I'm going to have to put one... Well, you can swap as an action. Yeah, but I've already had my first action. Yeah, so you can now swap if you want. 
Because I thought it says on the second row down times two, so you can do one of those actions twice. Yeah, times one is just toast. Everything. Oh, right, I see. You can do everything awesome. twice. Okay, I'm So you can do the same action two. twice if that wasn't clear. So you oh, could cool. pour two wines or two somethings Here into your glass. Done. You uh, could rotate twice. What did I see? <laughs> um, let me pour some wine into my glass. Lots, that sounds lots of wine. suspiciously like poison. That lots of action. wine, yes. That was your action. Mm. Um, <laughs> the... Okay, hang on. No, no, carry <laughs> He's on. trying to think how to kill me faster. Who am I trying to kill? Right, Tom. Me. Yes. <laughs> uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pour some wine also into that glass. Oh, thank you. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna pour some wine <laughs> into this glass. Okay. You are a generous pourer. So, how many rounds do we get in total? Is it just until? Uh, so this, yeah, this, you until someone calls a toast. But right. you can't call a toast till you've used all your wine tokens. Yeah. So in theory, there is a minimum of two rounds because. You can only call a toasty first mm. action with oh, yeah. three wine tokens. Okay. If you went full out to pour in wine yeah. on your third round, third go, you would be able to call a toast. All right. All right, yeah, my uh, my question <coughs> was just going to be you can do the same action twice, which yep. obviously you can, because <laughs> you've got just done. Okay, I'm going to put in <coughs> wine. And my second action would be to move them around. 